Sorry, momentary pause. UPS guy came to the door. Um, so let's go ahead and select this again. And uh, I don't know how close I'm going to get. If I do x-ray mode, I could probably see if I'm hitting everything or missing out and stuff. This is, again, an example why you should probably gut the bottom of your piece. That's not going to be seen. So I select this, and I hit extrude. And you can see when I hit extrude, it kind of tapers off a little bit. Or not tapers off, but you can see that it punches out. And we're going to scale that down just a tad. And what I'm doing is trying to make it look like it's got that kind of chipped rock look that happens with desert rock. And uh, we could even grab more of it if we wanted. Go to faces again. I'll just do this generically. Ah, oh, not with you, dude. Get out of here. You don't have any friends. So go right here and grab this. And uh, just deselect by clicking on the paint selection tool. Keep my finger on control. I can deselect what I don't need. And when you do use this, make sure you just hit the face in the center. And that should be fine. And uh, with that grabbed, I can go in here and extrude again. Now, I might grab something from the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about it so much right now. So I'll pull that out. Click one of the cubes to scale it down. And again, look at that. We can actually create some desert rock in here. Let me push that in a little bit. And you can get that nice kind of layered chiseled look. This could be something near the beach. This could be something near the desert. And you can actually see the difference between them. And especially if you check your references, you really need to. And it's not going to be so symmetrical. Like there's going to be a little bit of chaos involved. And I showed you that last time when we, when we were working with rocks and so forth. And the chaos can simply be something like this where we just go in here use the uh, um, split, <coughs> excuse me, interactive split tool. Click here and just kind of click away. It's going to go automatically to the center based on my uh, tolerance here. I have it at two and this is fine. Um, and you can, I can just end it for now. I don't have to get in too much craziness. You can go straight to the middle. And this can allow you to add some of those cracks that you see from actual rock. And uh, we can go in here, go to faces, and paint select them. Again, lower my B key. And in this case, I'll try to scale them a little bit. And I can go in here and then extrude. Now, instead of going outward, we'll go inward. You can get kind of that broken rock feel. Scale it down some more. And look at that. We have chiseled rock. <clears throat> now again, if you want to distort that, use the lattice tool or the soft modification to get more of a um, cool look to it. And what I mean by that is if we go switch to soft modification, let's select using soft modification. select here and you can move it to get more of that organic feel to it look how cool that is and then you can move this over here get like you know it's been shocked with a laser <coughs> and again it's not going to be completely uniform so you decide how smooth you want it to be and you can go over here again and grab this guy and you can smooth it out with that paint selection or excuse me sculpt the geometry tool which is found under mesh you can say, I'm going to paint on you. All right, I'm the lounge singer teacher, so what I am. Let's go in here and smooth this out a little bit. Or <coughs> you can actually use that pinch tool. Remember, we saw that before. Keep my finger the B key, increase that area. And the pinch tool, we can control his strength. You shall pinch quickly and fast. So we can make that. Uh, Make that a little more extreme pinching effect. So we can make that, that crack a little bit tighter. Works kind of cool. So those are some of the things you can do to create detail in your rock. Now remember, do this with thought. Think this out. Don't just punch these in here and make it look like Wolverine attacked it or something. You want to be able to look at your references when you do it. And I'm just showing you different ways you can approach this. But um it's very important to consider your references okay 
<clears throat> that's actually kind of cool. A little bit, it'll be a little tricky to unwrap, but the, also the secret too, if you go to unwrap these, and they're pretty high poly, try to unwrap them the way that nature's built them. So this little edge that I beveled, I can unwrap this region right here with that crack. I can go over here and unwrap this area over here. You can also unwrap from the top down if you have nothing on your bottom. You can unwrap from the top down and then unfold this guy simply by maybe making one of the seams, cut, cutting a, a couple seams on this guy, especially on the corners. You would cut a seam here, cut a seam here, cut a seam here, and cut a seam here. And when you unfold it using the unfold tool, I make sure I'm covering this a little bit, um, this guy right here, smooth UVs and the unfold option in smooth UVs, you can actually get a halfway decent unwrap on that texture. All right, so we got these guys up here set up. This is going to be one of my longer lectures. I apologize. But we have this guy set up here ready to go. And again, you can also also go back to your S soft modification and uh, fix some things or tweak them out simply by keeping them around. There we go. Got a little indentation there. Arizona rock. Um, so with this guy set up, I'm going to actually now make a tree. Now I showed you a little bit how you can make a tree. There's several different ways to do so. One of them is extrude on a path, which you saw me do. Another one, believe it or not, you can still use a cylindrical object. You just have to make sure you have the right amount of divisions. I'm going to uh, lower his size here. I'm going to hit the R key. I'm being lazy with just one hand and clicking on my toolbox stuff here. Or either that or my, is my mouse battery getting low? Hopefully not. So we go in here and we're going to put uh, subdivision of the height. We're going to do 10. I'm going to scale him up a little bit. I'm going to keep his first initial lattice. And I always do this. I keep a, a whole bunch of structures ready to go. Actually, you know what? Subdivisions on uh, height. I'm going to do, let's do 20. We want him to look just as clean and as organic as the other items. Um, I'm going to keep my finger on the space bar here. I'm going to create the formers. I'm going to go to lattice. I'm going to switch my lattice. Keep it, actually, we're going to keep it at 2. And lattice points, grab it. And I'm going to scale it down. There we go. We have an instant tree that's tapered. I'm going to grab this guy, control D, move him over. I can create another lattice on him. And I always do this as a reference point if I want to change things so I don't go too far and I mess things up. Sometimes Maya won't let you undo, so I'm calling me Maya Paranoid. We're going to make this guy um, 6, 6, and 6 because she's evil. And we go, in, that joke never gets old. And we go over here and we move this over. And we can move this over here. <clears throat> and you'll see, even though he's getting kind of pushed a little bit, you can actually get some cool kind of shapes and effects on this guy. Like an old gnarly tree we're messing with here. And uh, once you're done with him, grab him, control D, move him over. So if we want more of a smoother effect, notice it's still a little bit hard. We can right click again and go create deformers. We're going to nonlinear and we're going to go to bend deformer. Now this bend deformer is going to be nice because I can actually add a, a, a literal curvature on this. I'm going to do just a little bit and then I can rotate this control. Hit the E key, get my finger on the J key to lock it in. I can rotate it whatever angle I want. And with that angle set in, let's actually rotate a little bit more this way so you guys can see the silhouette. I can actually control the low bound. So let's control the low bound. There we go. I have a gnarly tree right there. And that keeps it a little more smoother. The lattice is a little bit chunky here just for the fact that <coughs> it might uh, lattice divisions are hitting right on vertice points instead of in between them. So I do control D, duplicate, hit the W key, move this over. And then now I can slant this guy. And I can go in here. That was the, that was the slant noise, if you're wondering, because it's so unique. It's very rare. It's a new tool by Autodesk. I didn't know. So we got this right here. And let's go in. I can get rid of these guys for now. I normally don't do that. Let them stick around. But I'm going to get rid of them for now. And, uh, and you'll notice we do have a sharp angle here. So you can fix that by even adding another bend. Or you can simply go in here and be super lazy like I'm going to be. Grab that edge and then just kind of push it and average it out a little bit. So a little bit more of a slope. Could even be a palm tree. In this case, we did start with a little bit of desert rock. But I'm just going to make it you guess what kind of tree it is kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to go and grab this edge here. 
we don't want it's a little bit of sharp edges going on there no fixing that so now that we got this guy all set up I'm gonna add some last-minute things to make him look less like we uh, created him from scratch or uh, excuse me we did create him from scratch less like we came from a cylindrical object he's giving me a little bit of a um, transition uh, excuse me rotation issue so what I'll do is edit delete by type history let's see if it does this again and this does happen sometimes uh, yeah it's so weird um, so what we'll do is double click on this and we'll say local still wants to fight me world object sure whatever works for you buddy yeah rotations off I hate when that happens um, what you can do in that case let's go to faces you can change your uh, selection mode we'll see if that fixes it nope still doesn't want to do it because it's a little bit of a slut let's go in here and do edges let's see if that does it I don't think this is gonna fix it either either I haven't seen this uh, error in a long time I'm using 2013 it does this weird inner crap I don't know why all right that's fine he wants to fight with us that's totally cool because we are going to win because we're smarter than he is I guess we're not all right so I'm just gonna rotate it just a little bit and then we're just gonna move it back into place and we'll do that from the side view sorry about that boys and girls it's been a smelly hooker so we'll go over here and put that right there cool so there's the slat we've always dreamed of so with that I can go in here too and maybe even scale it down a little bit and even point this out and what I mean by point is just grab the vertices and just literally just scale that just a, bat, a, a tad and scale this down just a tad and just kind of go down there just a little bit there so we get a little bit more believable tree so when you're done when we get all that notice we got the rocks really quick we got the tree really quick I'm gonna do control D duplicate this guy now the only thing you have to be careful is you'll have the same hyper detail as the body so if you want to go in here and delete them you can that's up to you but we can now go in here and recycle reduce and reuse these branches we can a thing called pipe shoving so I can go in here and put this branch in here. Now I always tell my students, be careful when you do this because you have to be in control of your texture. If you're not, it's not going to look correct. But we can still add deformers. We can still add all sorts of cool stuff on these individual branches. Let me do Control D, move this guy up again, and scale him down. Hit the R key, scale that down. Let me hit the E key, hit the J key to uh, rotate. Just let me know if I'm going too fast. Oh, you can't. You're watching. My bad. All right, so go ahead and scale this down one more time. I'm a jerk. So we go ahead and scale this down, and we do the E key again. Rotate that just a little bit. It's okay if the axis is a little bit off. That's fine. Uh, we do want to keep it a little bit random, so that's fine with that. Let's do a little pipe shoving. Now, there's going to be a point where people are going to tell, oh, yeah, that's the same branch he's using the whole time. So, again, what we can do is go to a space bar here for a second, and then go to my Create Deformers. And I'm going to go to Lattice. And then we can go and grab the Lattice. The Lattice, it just a miss super awesome sauce. So we go in here and do five. five actually, we do three, three, and three, because that's how we roll. And we go and right click the Lattice points. And I can move that around. I can change that. This branch was all alone in a world. One branch. Got that right there. Make it unique and you can delete his history if you want or we can even extend that out a little bit and say hey buddy now we'll do that I see it's broken and we'll do edit actually I'm gonna fix it this is the art director of me damn it alright control D and actually let's just delete his history <coughs> Delete by that history. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to scale that down. And shove them into place. And again, stuff that you don't need, delete. So you can see that you can really make pretty much almost anything, Control D, and you can group these guys as you're making them. It's really not that hard to make a tree. Actually, you can do this so fast. I did this really quick with some rocks. Um, the only thing slowing me down is me stopping to explain to you guys all the different tools. But overall, if I'm just banging this out, I can get this done 
in less than uh, 15 minutes, I can get a little environment going and set up and ready to go. So it really is not that hard to do. Again, you do have to check your references as you work. You can't just assume that you know because 99% of the time you don't because you look at your face in the mirror. But we always kind of take trees for granted. So you have to see what they look like. I'm hitting the space bar here. I'm doing nonlinear. I'm going to go to uh, sign. Uh, actually, in this case, we'll do wave. And uh, we're going to rotate wave here because wave is going to be really weird if we do it right there. And watch this. Wave is another one we can use. Amplitude. And you can instantly get a new kind of branch. A Vickerly branch. There we go. Sweet! And you can control how that's going to look. So I can go in here and mess with the uh, offset if I want. I'm going to make it a little more random. Whatever fits your needs. And I can hit Control D on that bad boy. And keep him. Control D. And uh, there you go. I'll just move him over just a little bit. His old friend, I'll delete. And if you want, you could recycle this guy as a branch that goes with him. And I'll hit the E key. Keep my finger on the J key. All right, so you want to make a series of these. Those don't make three branches. You really don't see too many trees like that. Even the dead ones that are boring, they're going to have a lot of branches because it's trying to get life. It's trying to live. Let it live. It wants to be a dancer. So, uh, Keep those things in mind. I think that's about it for me. I think I'm done, son. So hopefully you got some stuff out of this. You understand how this process works. Sorry, this one's a little bit longer. I tried to be funnier. So it would null, dumb, null the pain of the time on this. Okay, I'm out of stuff, so I'm going to get going. All right, so hopefully it helps you guys out. Keep rocking. Keep making this stuff. Make it happen. Again, be careful of your density. Uh, make sure you unwrap things. Uh, probably it's better to do it in neutral position. I prefer it. But if you do handle it this way, I can make another video later on on how to take care of that. So again, more branches, more trees, more stuff. And simply you can do that by going in here and also grouping. And you go to modify center pivot. And then you can now have a new branch. You can actually rotate. Oh, control D. My bad. Control Z. Control D. And then you can go in here and look at this, another group, another friend for the land of the tree, because every tree needs some buddies, right? Cool. All right, guys, that is about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be posting more later on as we go. And uh, you can see this is our desert tree, it's our desert land with our desert friends. I don't know, I got nothing. All right, that's about it. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.